Hiya, so my name's Sky. I've just finished my maths A level as well as my other A levels and I thought I would try and do the new spec June 2017 maths paper 3 GCSE and then this is the one I actually sat but I can't remember what was on it and I thought we'll see if doing the A level means that the GCSE is any easier or whether I can still do it it has been a week you know does it go out of your head that fast? I don't know So this is actually a really interesting question because the way I would look at this now from A level is that you would use the formula. So I'm going to try and do it two different ways and see if I get the same answer. So you can tell just from looking at the Venn diagram that there are 7 out of 15, but if you use the formula you still get 7 out of 15, so that's what you learn to do at A level and it carries through across everything, but obviously at GCSE you just didn't need it. I used to hate simultaneous equations, I could never solve it when there was two like that, but I remember coming out of that exam thinking, yeah I've solved it. So what I've already remembered about doing GCSEs from these papers is that you always have to show your working, you have to show every single step, so if I was doing my GCSEs I'd probably show the number of chocolate cakes as well, even though that's not what it's asking for, so I haven't bothered doing it, but you know, let's just skip on, and oh my days, who remembers this question if you sat the exam, no thank you, disgusting, no thank you. Also, it's so cute that like you have to put a slash in it again at GCSE because you have to put a, a minus symbol out and it's just so normal to put a minus symbol, you just wouldn't put a slash. Yeah boys, Sokatoa, who remembers that? Mm-mm-mm. I need to change my calculator back to degrees because at A-level you always use radians, you never ever use degrees. No. So I've just been doing this question and this is the way that you do it now at A level. So obviously you have E in there and you just use that formula, you plug it all in and you'd find X, which I've worked out to be like 0.058, right? But I know that's not the formula that you use at GCSE because you don't know what E is at GCSE, you only learn that at A level. So I think I sort of remembered that formula, I'm not sure if that's right though. So then I've used that and I've got a very similar answer, but it's different. So that's an interesting difference. Again, I really couldn't remember how to do this method, so I've had to do it two ways. I've had to convert to radians to work out this. So this is the way we would do it at A level and then this is the way I think you'd do it at GCSE using like a fraction, using a fraction with degrees rather than using radians. But yeah, both methods have got me the same answer. So it's been about an hour and 10 minutes-ish. And I have now reached the end of my paper. I'm going to have like a five minute check through because I do actually think I'm running out of time. Technically, it was only an hour and a half. But I've answered all the questions. Obviously, there were quite a few things that are a bit different based on how you do the A-level. And um, yeah, it's actually, even though I know that I found it challenging when I was doing the GCSE, it's made me realise like how hard it actually is. There's some content on it that's just absolutely no longer needed at A-level. I haven't seen ratios in two years. But like I genuinely forgot how challenging it is and if you do the new GCSE you are fully entitled to find it hard. But yeah, I'm gonna have a quick read through and then I'm gonna mark it and we'll see how it went. I have just marked it um, after, after checking it and 
obviously again because I am only human I made some silly mistakes which I managed to rectify before I marked it so yes always check through always check your work um of course I don't want to say this now because it might make like if you're doing GCC it might make you feel bad but obviously in that I, I like I put my hands up and I say yeah I found that challenging I'm an A-level student I've just done that I've applied to do maths at uni so you'd think that I should find it easy but I didn't I found it challenging but I did still get 100% at GCC there is absolutely no way on this earth I got 100% on that paper that one in particular I know I would have found the hardest out of all of them yeah so obviously you're doing your GCC you're not trying to get 100% I don't think anyone at all in year 11 would get 100% on the exams I didn't A level maths you'll find that a lot of it changes and it's quite interesting to see to go back and see like how much has actually changed the first thing I noticed going back to your GCC papers though is that you get given blank pages just to write in and do any little scribbles and I used to love that whereas at A level pretty much the first thing you notice is that you get lined paper yes yeah, so when I was in year 11 I absolutely would not have got 100% on that so please don't say you're aiming for 100% or anything Um, if you're thinking about doing A level go for it why not so I wish you all the very best of luck for results today because I heard your GCSE papers went well so I wish you the very best of luck